In this video, I will guide you through some of the new features for extensive testing of your control systems now available with our new software release. To do this, I will use one well-known DSP control card from Texas Instruments, F2808, Typhoon's latest 6-core platform, HIL602, for power stage emulation, and interface them together with the help of Typhoon's plug-and-play TI DSP interface board. So let's begin. We will start simply by drawing the power stage model we would like our hill to emulate using the schematic editor. Improved schematic environment allows you to navigate to particular library elements you need a lot faster simply by typing their name. We will use a couple of new library elements in this demo like ANPC switching block, motor operated circuit breaker which can be controlled through any of 32 available digital inputs standard measurement elements and new RMS measurement elements for signal monitoring and which can also be used as control feedback. We will add an improved battery model on the DC side of the switching block, now available with additional features. Furthermore, we need to add few passive components to filter the output voltages of the inverter. We can locate them in the schematic library very fast Simply drag and drop them on our board and set the parameters. All used elements are easily connected with the help of Typhoon's auto routing feature. And you can see that lines are breaking and positioning by themselves, so you don't need to drag the lines or make breaking points manually. Just click on element ports. Grid forming part of the circuit is completed. Next, we will add a constant power source element and connect it to the circuit, together with few current and voltage measurement elements. New components also introduced in this release are controlled sources. We will use them to generate phase voltages from line-to-line -line voltages measured at the input of power source element. Circuit is now complete. Before compiling, we need to set circuit breaker digital inputs and power source parameters, such as current limit, frequency and voltage droop characteristics. And also define which HIL digital inputs we want to use to control our ANPC switching block. Circuit parameters are set and all that is left to do is compile the model and move to the HIL control panel to start the simulation. This can be done simply by clicking on the new Compile and Open button. After compiling, model is automatically opened in the HIL control panel. Before we start the simulation, let us take a look at the simulation parameters for our battery and power source models. We can set the references for active and reactive power of the power source. We can observe the frequency of the input voltage and the actual active and reactive power generated by the power source, depending on defined droop characteristics. You are now able to set a different initial state of charge for your battery just before starting the emulation. So far, this possibility was available only from Schematic Editor. We can also set the feedback signals and the rest of your simulation parameters, or simply load the predefined settings and start the simulation. We can now switch to our scope and capture to observe the signals and start testing and improving our control algorithm. You can of course change simulation parameters while simulation is running and observe the behavior of your controller in real time. Thank you for watching.